Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Friday, July 3rd, 2015, around 3.44 in the afternoon in Berwicka, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day out, highs in the 70s, low humidity and stuff, and it's perfect summer weather. Several more straight days of low humidity, maybe a warming trend next week, but still no 90s in sight, which is a good thing. Some news to report, the Edmonton Oilers signed the number one draft pick in the NHL's draft this year, um, Connor McDavid, to a three-year entry-level contract, and it's... Happy National Fry Clam Day! So get your fry clams anywhere in to celebrate National Fry Clam Day. I love fry clams a lot. That's about it on the news. My next video subject is about the Burlington Mall in Burlington, Massachusetts. The, the Burlington Mall is a big shopping mall in, in Burlington, Massachusetts, right on Middlesex Turnpike. And right off, right off of Route 95-128, Exit 32, it's one of the biggest Middlesex um, County's biggest shopping area. It has over 1,264,000 1, and 75 square feet of retail space. The Burlington Mall was opened in 1968, developed by Herbert. H. Johnson and Simon Ma Main and McKee Incorporated, and it was on a site that was by bought by Bell Weather Properties in 1924, $2,000, which that was a cheap sum back in that day. In those days, it was a big plot of land. Eventually, they developed it to a big shopping mall. In 1968, its tents, the first tents there was a Sears, which is still there, uh, Jordan Marsh, which eventually became Macy's, and Filene's, which was bought out by Macy's in 2005, closed down and stuff. Originally, it was only one, the mall was only one floor, but Sears and Filene's, and mice and Jordan Marsh were two to three floors. Plus, in the early years of the shop of the Burlington Mall, they had a stop and shop right where Bank of America is, and they had like a two theater movie complex, General Cinemas, which eventually became AMC, that moved across the street. In 1978, the mall expanded to have Lord and Taylors and stuff. And by 1988, the mall expanded to have a second floor. The mall, some of the shops at the Burlington Mall over the years include a KB Toy Store, Walden Books, Radio Shack, Olympia Sports, Spencer's Gifts, Champ Sports, and 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 an FYE, and a they ha had Sun Coast Movie Theater. I mean. Sun Coast Movie Theater, a video theater, plus so many other stuff. And in the food, food court, which is pretty good, they had a Chick-fil-A, which is still there. That's one of the few Chick-fil-A's left in Massachusetts. Only one of four, plus they have like the Master Walk and a Subway and a Johnny Apple, Appleseed and Shortcakes and so many others. They used to have a a like junkyard dog burgers and stacks, but that's closed down. And for the restaurants, they used to have a Brigham's and used to have a Jimmy's seafood, but now that's a um, cheesecake factory and stuff like that. And they have a Uno's and a Rainforest Cafe, the only one in New England. Plus, they have a legal seafood in a Mexican place, Bestros. And the Burlington Mall over the years have had a lot of stores come and go and stuff. The biggest change of the Burlington Mall happened in 
2006 when Filene's closed down because they were bought out by Macy's and Macy's is already in the most. So they had to close down Filene's and they did a lot of renovations to it. And Nordstrom's moved in and a the area where um, Filene's was located and they expanded that and they added 20 more stores. Plus, in, in the recent years, the Burlington Mall was bought, bought by Simons and they can think it turned all the malls, they own most of them, into upscale stores. A lot of stores that, that used to be in the mall are no longer there. They're replaced with high-end stores and stuff. But they have a Newberry Comics there now. And during the weekdays and weekends, the mall is so busy. Sometimes it's jam-packed and stuff like that. Once in a while, they'll have guests there, like models there, or like television stations or radio stations when they're opening up a new store. They In recent years, they opened up a Microsoft store, a Disney store, and a couple of other stuff. And the mall's supposed to be getting more and more stores soon. I think there's one store that's going to take over the second floor of Sears that's supposed to open in the fall as well. And the Burlington Mall at one time was the only big shopping center in Burlington, Massachusetts. But now there's one at Wayside Commons, the Middlesex Mall, and soon they'll probably have a lot of shopping cent uh, areas at 3rd Avenue. In, Bur in Burlington. I go to the Bur Burlington Mall a lot and it's a pretty good mall and stuff. You could walk around for hours and upon hours upon hours. I used to go there when they had a Walden Books and stuff and a FYE to get DVDs and stuff. But all of those stores are now long gone. They uh, Luckily they got a Newberry Comics which is pretty good and stuff. And they also have a Dunkin' Donuts there at the Burlington Mall, which is jam-packed and stuff. And I usually sometimes eat at the Uno's, which is a good restaurant. Sometimes I get cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. And I also, I try out that Mexican place, Bistro's, which is pretty good. And I've never had legal seafood and stuff. And the Burlington Mall is accessible if you take Route 3 to Exit 25, which was 95, 128 North, and then take Exit 32, it's right there. Or you could take the Middlesex Turnpike. Or if you're taking public transportation, you could take, could take LRTA Bus um, 14, Burlington Mall, Leahy Clinic, MBTA a Bus 350, North Burlington, Our Wife, or you could take the local buses, the Lex Express, and uh, the Burlington B Line and stuff like that. It's a fun time to go to the Burlington Mall every day. And you better get your checkbook ready and stuff, your wallet ready, because many of the stores now are upscale and stuff. It's it's more of a upscale mall than the pa in the past few years than like a regular size mall and stuff like that. And I hope the Burlington Mall adds more stores soon. And I just hope Sears never goes out of business because it's one of the greatest stores of all time, Sears. I know somebody who used to work at Sears in Burlington who, who sold refrigerators. And that's about it on the new, on, on this video blog about the Burlington Mall. Uh, and one more thing about the Burlington Mall, it's one of the best malls I've ever been to. It's, it's, it's a five-star mall in my opinion. And that's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject of the night will be about personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is another one of a, the, of a celebrity who appeared on the match game. The late great game show announcer, Johnny Olsen. Come on down! See you tonight, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And like I always say, keep calm and I'm a Julie Barton guy. Bye now.